Hey everybody, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric, thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, hey there, it's very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, welcome back guys. Welcome to your July monthly readings. Hey, July, all right, we're in the middle of the summer guys, it's great. I hope you're enjoying yourselves. Happy birthday to all the Cancers out there. Um, I, this is, today is what? Today is the 8th of July. So we are still in Cancer season. So I hope you guys are all enjoying your birthdays, uh, your birthday season. And to all the Leos out there, your birthdays are coming up. So I'll say happy birthday to you guys now, but we'll get to that next month, yeah? Um, so I did something a little bit differently this time. I wanted to get into the energies first before I started reading for them. I'm not so keen personally on forecasting, on fortune telling. I tell people all the time I am not a fortune teller, okay? I'm more about um, understanding the current energies and bringing clarity to them to help you you know, make the best decision for yourself moving forward. So that's why I waited a little bit before um, I release I put out the, the July monthlies. Also, if you're seeing some smoke, don't worry about it. <laughs> My apartment's not on fire. <laughs> I'm just burning some sage, yeah? Um, let's see, anything else? These are general readings, okay? So take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Um, if you would like a personal reading, I am very much available for that. You can go ahead and email me. All of the information is in the description box below. Um, num, 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 num. I think that's it. So what I'm doing with this, the readings this month, I am using the Golden Universal Tarot for the, you know, the general message. And then I'm also getting Oracle Guidance from the Unicorns and the Crystal Mandala deck. And uh, when it comes to the Crystal Mandala deck, I am um, focusing it on, yes, bringing the message forward, but also putting forth the intention that the, whatever crystal comes out, if you feel uh, guided to purchase that crystal so that you can work with it, I highly recommend that you do so. Yes, 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 that's always a fun thing to do. And yeah, I believe that is it for now. So let's get into the reading, yeah? Yay! Hey Capricorn, welcome to your reading for July. Let's get started. Hi Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Capricorns, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Capricorn for the month of July to serve the highest good of all involved. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Capricorn. Strange. I'm not really getting any colors here for you. Maybe a bit of yellow. Yeah, all right. Um, willpower, strength, illumination. Hmm. Okay. Really just getting black, which is interesting. Black is like the color of potential, really. The unknown, yeah, but potential. In From nothing can something be born, right? So, all right, Capricorn. Hmm. Okay. All right, Capricorn, one more shuffle, and then I'll cut the deck. All right. Starting you off, Cap, we've got, ooh, the Emperor. Okay, so you really might be moving in a direction towards something. I feel like you're creating something. Like you're really, you're really going after something. That's, that's the energy I'm getting with the emperor here. And I feel like this is your energy. Although you could be dealing with an Aries. Okay. And this could be a depiction of the divine masculine here. Ah, look at that. The lovers. Queen of cups in reverse. And the Ace of Wands in reverse. So, what does this mean? Um, I 
what I'm getting here, I am getting that there's the depiction of the of the the emperor is can be symbolizing the divine masculine here. Um, the empress could be, I'm sorry, not the empress, I'm sorry, the queen of cups could be symbolizing the divine feminine. Um, we could be talking about how the, or not, maybe not the divine masculine, maybe if you're not in a twin flame dynamic, um, a masculine energy within a relationship maybe has chosen someone other than the queen of cups. being their counterpart, or has chosen someone who is the Queen of Cups in reverse, and it was a poorly inspired choice, is what I'm getting, with the Ace of Wands in reverse here. I am really hearing Divine Masculine, so we may be talking about Twin Flames specifically here. And now, this choice could have left the Divine Feminine upset, in emotional turmoil. This could also be, there also could be some uh, feminine energy coming through with the masculine right now that is out of odds. Yeah. This could also be with the lovers being, there needing to be a choice made um, and someone doesn't know which way to go with the Ace of Wands in reverse or doesn't feel like they could approach this person should they choose them. Or they may have already chosen them and they just don't know how to approach this person. All right, Cap. Let's get into your storyline here. Starting you off with the chariot in reverse. Yeah. So you want, you Capricorn want to move forward or someone wants to move forward, but... They feel blocked. They feel like they can't move forward. They may not be able to get their emotions in check enough to really get the journey going. Chariot with the magician. Okay. So may, they could, someone could be um, not moving just yet, but manifesting the circumstances by which they can move forward in a direction that they really want to move in, that they're very passionate about. And I mean, we got the Ace of Wands already, so yeah, that makes sense. Next is the High Priestess. The High Priestess is in reverse. There could be some secrets coming to light. This could be a blockage of intuition, though. Ah, and the Ace of Swords in reverse. So... Someone's not seeing something clearly. There is an illusion around here. Someone may think something is, a situation is one way, when in reality it really isn't. It's kind of the exact opposite. Uh, and they may not be getting the intuitive, gui uh, listening to the intuitive guidance that they're getting also. Hmm. Next we have the Ten of Wands in reverse with oof, the Queen of Wands in reverse. Okay. There's a lot of burdens surrounding a Queen of Wands. And I feel like this Emperor may have chosen the Queen of Cups but it was, a, it, was, it was an ill-informed choice. It was an ill-inspired choice. And now in order to get back to the other person who would be the Queen of Wands, who really could be the Divine Feminine here, there's a lot of obstacles that need to be surmounted. There's a lot of burdens surrounding that relationship. Or that relationship could just feel like it's too hard because it's too challenging. Hmm. But ultimately, this is where this person wants to be with the Queen of Wands, not the Queen of Cups. Because the Queen of Cups is manipulative in this situation. And the Queen of Wands is reversed here because she's at odds with the situation. Or at least, or at least the Emperor, whoever is symbolized by the Emperor, feels that he, she's at odds with him. 
But that may not be the case with the High Priestess and the Ace of Swords in reverse. Moving forward, we have, aha, the Ace of Cups. Wanting to, a new emotional start, unconditional love. Wanting to offer a cup. And the Knight of Swords in reverse. Yeah, wanting to offer this Ace of Cups, wanting to charge in with this Ace of Cups, but feeling blocked. Somebody's got a cup to give. <laughs> they want to do it now. <laughs> now! Moving forward, we have the Hero, not the Hero, I'm sorry, uh, the Hermit. Could be dealing with a Virgo, could be dealing with a Gemini, could be dealing with a Cancer, uh, Fire Sign, Aries Leo Sagittarius. Air sign. Well, we already have Gemini, but um, Aquarius and Libra. Could be dealing with a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We don't have any Earth yet, though. Anyway. The, oh, wait, no. We have Virgo with the Hermit. And, <clears throat> excuse me. The Knight of Cups. In reverse. Um, so someone is taking a moment to go within to figure out how to send this message. They're trying to find the light within them to shine so that they can be truthful and authentic in this offer that they want to give. Yeah. They want to find the light within themselves first before they come forward with an offer of love that they really want to give. They really want to give. Moving forward, we have the Queen of Swords in reverse. With the Two of Cups. Okay. So I really feel like somebody, the, the feminine energy here, um, may have really set some strong boundaries, but may have done it in a not-so-desirable way. But ultimately, there is reconciliation that's wanted here. This could be whoever is, uh, I'm really picking up that whoever is represented by the emperor here wants to come at, wants to reconcile with someone that they seem to be, or they, that they view as queen of swords in reverse. Like, not even more than normal not having it for the queen of swords. You know what I mean? Like... Knock down, drag out, fight, not having it, if that makes sense. I don't know I don't know where that came from, but that's <laughs> But there is reconciliation that is wanted here. Redemption is what I just heard. Hmm. Moving forward, uh, the tower. Oof. With the Empress. In reverse. Okay, so look. Look, we've got the counterparts here. So we really could be talking Twin Flames. But I feel like this tower moment was for the Divine Feminine in this situation. I feel like somebody said some things that they didn't um, really mean. And that opened a lot of eyes. I feel like it was a divine feminine in this situation that said something that, or acted in a way, reacted in a way that was undesirable. But there's unconditional love here because we do have the Ace of Cups. So I really feel like the masculine wants to come back and try again. And this tower moment helped the divine feminine see the error of her ways in this situation. Yeah. Finally, we have the Seven of Pentacles. Planning, observation, uh, looking at the fruits of your labor and trying to figure out, you know, how to grow something better in the future with the Queen of Pentacles. This is definitely planning on how to approach the Queen of Pentacles, 
how to build a life with the Queen of Pentacles. I'm hearing how to get back to her. Capricorn. This could be you, or this could be somebody else that you're connected with. Excuse me. But we do have a soulmate connection here. We have unconditional love. We have the counterparts, the emperor and the empress. I'm also getting with the seven of pentacles and the queen of pentacles upright here. The divine feminine is really, in this situation, is really looking back on how she acted. I hear how she was treated also um, and learning a lesson through it, uh, growing from it. Yeah? All right. Oracle guidance from the unicorns for Capricorn. Now, also, this could be you, Capricorn, with the queen of pentacles here. Okay. Oracle Guidance for Capricorn for the month of July. Capricorn. Capricorn. Hmm. Doesn't want to come out, huh? Capricorn. Not there yet. Where are you? Where are you? Capricorn. Capricorn. Here we go. Abundance. Yeah. This card has come out a few times for the Zodiacs today. Abundance. Enjoy the bounty of life. Your supply is unlimited. Blessings are coming to you. I'm really picking up a brand new start. Reconciliation is on its way here. Yeah. Totally. Okay. For the Crystal Mandala guidance for Capricorn. Capricorn. Here we go. Ooh, Goddess Hecate and Mika. Crossroads of a destiny. Now, if you feel guided or pulled toward picking up some Mika, I would encourage you to do so. I don't know where you could find it. You could probably find it online quite easily. Not too sure. But investigate it if you feel called to do so. Card number 42. Here we are. Crossroad of Destiny. We whoops. We bring you the empowerment of the crossroad of destiny. You are at a pivotal point on your life journey. This may be obvious to you with a potentially life-changing decision before you, or you may need your, or you may not realize the impact that an apparently insignificant choice is going to have on your future. Either way, you are at a point where you can leave the past behind and chart your course for a new adventurous chapter to begin in your life. This is not something you need to be frightened of. It is, a sign, uh, it is a sign you are progressing on your path. The crossroad of destiny happens when you have mastered a cycle in your life and a new cycle is before you. It is an opportunity that you can take best advantage of by listening to your heart. Yeah. And your intuition too, Capricorn. Or cross watcher. <laughs> All right, guys. So there it is. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I hope this was helpful. And I look forward to connecting with you guys in August. Yeah? Take care. Much love. Bye.